I've just found a way to make Stable Diffusion run about four to five times faster on my old GPU with only four gigs of RAM. It's really easy, so I'm surprised that I haven't seen anyone talking about it yet. So let's dive into it. If you're running Linux, it's really easy to stop your graphical user interface or GUI, and then access everything remotely from another computer or phone. On my setup, that saves about 700 megs, which is about 18% of a four gig GPU. This may not sound like a lot, but it's enough to make the difference between needing minus minus low VRAM or not. This is one of the flags that optimizes VRAM usage at the expense of speed so that you can run stable diffusion on older hardware. It also makes resolutions possible that I wasn't able to achieve without various upscaling techniques, as well as different combinations of extensions that I simply couldn't run before. I'll post the full details on my blog, which I've linked in the description, but the important steps are these. Close any apps that you have running and don't want to lose data in, because these are all about to disappear in just a moment. Note that none of the changes that we're doing here are permanent. As soon as you reboot, everything will come back up normally. SSH to the computer from another machine. This asserts that you have what you need to continue the next steps. Run NVIDIA-SMI. This is to see what the GPU looks like at the moment. Specifically, we want to see how much RAM is in use. Stop the GUI. This step may vary between different distributions, so you may need to Google it. But on my OpenSUSE system, it's simply a matter of sudo system control stop display manager. If you run NVIDIA-SMI again now, you should now see that there is zero VRAM usage. Edit your startup script that calls webui.sh, or edit webui.sh itself if you modified it. Find minus minus low VRAM and remove it. Now start up the webui as you would normally. If you would normally add minus minus low VRAM here, don't. <laughs> now while that's starting up, let's move on to the next step. You need to be able to access the port that the web UI runs on, so that you can access the web UI from another machine. I've mostly been using SSH-L like this, but if you'd like to access it from other devices like your phone, you can do so with a tool like Nginx or SoCat. These are just two examples, but there are many others. I'll post details about that on my blog. By the way, if you haven't seen my channel before, you should totally check it out. It's got lots of cool geeky stuff. Give it a go and see if you notice the difference. I've run several repeated tests across various configurations. For some types of generations, it's only given me a two times speed boost, while most are a consistent four to five times faster, which is frickin' cool for something so easy. Hopefully, it will work for you as well. So with that, you can now generate more pictures of put, uh, uh, kittens.